Hey guys, it's Erin, and instead of doing another singing video, I decided to take a break from my singing and do another video on things that irritate me, but this time, it's got a little twist, I guess you could say. Um, I'm doing 10 things that irritate me about school. And I wanted to do this with one of my classmates. Hint, hint. No, I'm not going to say her name. No. No, thank you. But, um, this video might be up before the singing video that I did for all of me. So that's coming up because it's hard to explain, never mind. It'll, this video will just be up before all of me. So be ready for that. Um, um okay. So the first thing on my list is those teachers that have no clue what they're talking about. It could be anything. Like, they'd say they know something about the weather and they end up being completely wrong because they thought they were right. Thought they were right. Of course, all teachers think that since they're a teacher, they're so smart that they can do anything and they know everything. Well, sometimes you're wrong, teachers. Get used to it. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's wrong every once in a while. So if you're wrong, it's okay. The second thing, at my school, there have been like 14,000 fights. There's always fights. Like, either threatening for fights, threatening of fights, threatening for fights. I don't remember. I don't even know. Like, people threaten other people to fight, and other people threaten to kill. Like, don't be stupid like that. There's no need for physical violence. Uh, third thing. The bad kids and the rude ones. There are kids that get suspended like all the time. And that are rude all the time. And it's annoying. Like, I keep saying like. That's, that's also annoying, saying like all the time. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean about that one. Um, there are also people who think they are smarter than everyone else. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I've got my list again. Again. There are people who think that they're smarter than everyone else, so they have to tease the other person about it. Like, I think it was in math today. Um, this kid was like, you're already done with that? You're such a brainiac, or something like that. I don't remember, but um, he, the boy that was called the brainiac goes, well, what about this other person? And my teacher was like, I would be offended, and he goes, what? And she said, um, you're making all the rest of the people in the class sound like they're stupid. And he was just like, well, he didn't know what to say. He was like speechless. Like, um, there are people that are smarter than other people, but there are also people who are like, you don't think they're smart. But really, they are on the inside. So, another one of those things, don't judge a book by its cover. <sighs> Shout out to the girl that called me, that whipped her head around him. That was, like, really weird. I was just like... Um, Shout out to the girl who turned around in social studies and told me straight to my face that I was wrong about something. And then I asked, how do you know? And she said, because I'm smarter than you. This is based on you, lady. I hope you're not watching this. I honestly hope you aren't. That was so mean. That just really made me mad, though, so, yeah. At least you got a shout-out. Those people who think they're popular and really aren't. There's this girl that walks around with tight clothes on every single day, and she walks around like, Oh my gosh, I'm so popular. I can do this, and I can date any boy that I want. You can annoy any person that you want. That's what you can do. 
Those girls annoy me. When you're popular, when you're popular in school, when you get out of college, it's not going to matter because those people that you are with now probably won't even be friends with you anymore. Honestly, it's like that's the truth. Uh This is a big speech. This is my first big speech. The athletes who get special treatment, special treatment. I can't tell you this story because it's going to embarrass my sister, but I can tell you another story. We were doing this thing in social studies where um, we had to, um, like, come up with a rule, like a law that needs to be, like, some sort of law to build, build a law, build a law, build a law. It's like a bill to a law, and my bill was that athletes didn't get special treatment, while the other students that weren't athletic don't get special treatment. Well, it went to a group of the Senate. It was like a group over here for the Senate, and they read it and they threw it away because they thought it was stupid. Well, they those there were two there were three or four people in that group, and two of them were athletes. So the two athletes decided that they didn't like it, so they threw it away. Well, you're an athlete, so you like the special treatment. That's why you threw it away. I'm not stupid. I know what you're doing. They said, it's stupid, so we're throwing it away. And I'm just like, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you so bad. I'm going to quit talking about that before I go nuts. The boys who think they're so cool that they can't even say yes to a girl who isn't popular. Boys always seem like they have to date someone who's popular or on the cheerleading squad or athletic or something. They always are attracted to those people. I don't like playing middle school sports because I just don't. It's just I'm more focused on my um, academics. Oh, excuse me. Um, I was giving this boy hints that I liked him, and apparently he had thrown the note into his locker and goes, I know who that is. It's my name. I can't say my last name, so I'm just going to say it's Aaron, and she's a weirdo, and I don't like her like that. And he threw the note into his locker, and I'm just like, I wasn't there to see it, but the girl that gave him the note for me was, she told me all about it. Like, it wasn't nice. Not at all. Just because I'm not on a sports team. It's obvious. Like, I'm not popular, so he doesn't want to date me. Date me. But, you know what? Like, I get over boys quick. Like, they don't like me? Who cares? Off with you. It's like saying off with your head. Wow. Um, uh, I cannot stand buses. My bus that I ride reeks Smells like dirty socks from the high schoolers after gym class. It's hot. Ugh. And the bus driver drives so recklessly that I get dizzy. And then I'm just like, I'm going to throw up. I am going to throw up. And it's going to be her fault. I had to do this quick because I'm running. Uh, this video is going to be really long. The off-task teachers... We're learning about something one day, and then we learn about something completely different the next day, and then we go back to the one that we were learning the day before that, and then it's just, like, all over the place. And then sometimes during class, those teachers that are just, like, talking about their uh, science or social studies or reading or something, and they just get completely off task and tell a story about their dog or something. Who cares? Nobody cares about your personal life. Well, some people do, but I like to work. Like, I, like, actually do my work. So, if you're going to get off task, I might as well switch to a different science teacher. Or reading. Or social studies. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm just giving an example. So that that teacher that I'm talking about does not know who, that I'm talking about that person. But, to the person that is in one of my classes with me and has this teacher with me, shout out to you. I give shout outs a lot. Anyway, 
The classifying speech. This is a scientific term, classifying. Well, my speech is that... I forget my speech. Um, when you are on a sports team, you are considered a jock. If you're in middle school or high school, you know what I'm talking about. If you are a cheerleader or something, or you you stand out better than the rest of us, you're considered popular. If you are extremely smart and do everything like smarticle and you're a dork or whatever, I don't consider you that, you're considered geeky. And then if you are like, um, you don't get out there much and you're kind of quiet and shy, you're considered uh, a nobody. I don't do that, honestly. It's just like everybody should be treated the same and not put to groups or classified. That bugs me so bad about school because everybody is like popular, jock, lonely, geeky. Who cares? It's not going to matter when you get out of school. It's not going to matter when you get out of college or high school or whatever. It's going to matter. What only matters is how well you're doing in school, really. It's just a matter of paying attention in class and doing getting good grades. It doesn't matter if you're popular or not. I, I honestly don't understand school. That's pretty much my ten things that irritate me about school. This video is 11 minutes long. I don't think I've ever filmed a video this long. I might have, but I don't remember. Not to my knowledge. At least I can admit I'm stupid sometimes. Other people are just like, don't make fun of me because I got that wrong. And I'm just like, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just sitting here laughing because it was funny. I'm just like, who cares? Get over it. This, it makes me mad. Sorry, I got off task there. Off task YouTuber. Oh! Mm -hmm. Off task YouTuber. I've got this whiteboard type thing, like these little sticky stickers on the side of my nightstand that I can write with a dry erase marker on it, and I wrote down, uh, make video of things that irritate me about school, and I'm erasing it now because it was a reminder, so since I finally did it, it can go off. If you have any suggestions of what videos I should do next, I'll write them on that piece of thing right there, and I'll try to film it. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Shout out to all my classmates. That's going to be, like, at the end of, like, every single one of my videos now. Like, I'm saying, like, a lot. Shout out to all my classmates. It will probably be, like, a video, too. Like, at the end of all my videos. Because I'm obsessed with saying shout out to people, my classmates who watch my videos. And that's like four people. Shout out to those four people. I'm not going to say their names because I said them in the All of Me videos. So check that out when it comes up. It's taking forever that, for them to upload. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to start doing this at the end of every single one of my videos, if I remember. Because I like, I tend to do this a lot, or all the time. It's annoying to me. But you know, 14 minutes, gee, peas. Okay. Bye. <laughs> that was like really weird. <laughs> Don't overdo that. <laughs>